Well, Julie and I met in fall of 1990 at the University of Montana when we were both students and we've been together ever since. We've been married about 26 years. We had our first child, Jake Jansen, Jake, around a year and a half to two years old. Things started to change with him and he was diagnosed with autism on May 28, 1998. He is an absolute joy to be around when he's happy and I think anybody will tell you that. He can light up a room. He is amazing, but when he is um, okay. having a hard time, he's having a hard time. Nobody understands what you go through with raising a special needs child, especially with developmental disabilities, unless you live it. Other parents out there, they know what we're going through and what makes it difficult is that we're so isolated in such a large rural state. Sometimes no matter what you give, and you can give everything you have, it's never quite enough. We had decided one night, we talked, and we both kind of went, yep, we're on the same page, it's time, we need to, and that's a very difficult place as parents to be, where you say, we have to have more help. We have to be able to get him somewhere where um, he can get the help he needs. Um, but we kind of trudged forward and went ahead and contacted the state. We contacted our case manager at the time, and. You know, we had a meeting with her and she said, well, let's, let's meet with the local group here in town and I know they have a couple openings, let's see what we can do. And I remember that whole month being so excited about the possibilities and so just thinking about Jake's future and what this could offer him and walked into the meeting and I sat down and first, second thing they said was, no. We're just not going to be increasing his cost plan for you guys, so, um, you know, we just don't have the budget for it. Like, well, what do you mean? You're not going to be inc increasing his cost plan? They're just like, well, we just can't get him into a group home right now. And that was smack dab in the middle of the budget crisis that we had in 2017 and the special session that the legislatures had and, and how they reduced the Department of Public Health and Human Services budget by $90 million. To reach out to the legislators and say, this is something we need help with. What can you do? How can you help us? And we get no response. 